Hey what's up good people, welcome to episode 19 of Pwned I'm gonna start off this episode by telling you guys that I actually went for war last weekend Actually it wasn't just last weekend, it was just yesterday but you could just say it's last weekend Anyway, the war was called PRANS or PRANS, however you want to pronounce it, P-R-A-N-S It stands for Promoting Recreational Activities of NERF And um, I don't know where the S comes from, maybe it's from Maybe it stands for Singapore, I don't know. But anyway, big shout outs to Demolution and Leo Zayas for hosting and being the co-host respectively of the war. It was an indoor war held at a community centre. It was pretty fun and um, I'm going to reserve this particular space over here. Uh, because Hat was there, Atani was there, um, Looney was there. Quite a lot of people were there. It was quite fun actually. Um, I'm going to reserve this space because Hat has war footage and um, if he doesn't upload the footage in time, I will just re-link it in the next episode of Pwn, which is episode 20. But anyway, I'll get to that in a short while. But, um, yeah, the war was fun. Um, it was painful for some, but it was fun for all, and uh, that's what Nerf Wars are all about. I uh, met some really cool people, a lot of uh, new members that I've not seen, and that's quite, uh, I guess, quite heartwarming, you know, to see people having fun. There was, there was even this little kid holding a... A nice metallic blue long shot with all the accessories and stuff and it was just cool but anyway yeah um there was an indoor wall so we were very uh very comfortably shielded from the rain and um i think i i'm just gonna say this off off uh you know i mean yeah off off the top of my dome off the top of the dome yo but i'm just gonna say this uh, off the top of my dome i think my favorite um game mode was the um, his version of the Royal Rumble where he gave us numbers and he just randomly called numbers in uh, that was fun yeah and yeah. so anyway uh, speaking of war talking about the war uh, at the war I actually met one of the I guess you could call him a long time nerfer now uh, one of the active members in the Singaporean Nerf SG forums um, it's Backspacer05 thank you bro for this but uh, anyway I'm giving him a shout out Backspacer05 he actually uh, saw my name registered on the wall and then he decided to surprise me with a little gift now he gave me these things and I was like what is this he was like hey Sight you're into dart smithing now right I was like uh I'm just trying it out you know so he said hey uh, have this man uh, this is for you so I was kinda touched so this is what he actually gave me these are like um, self-made dart holders these I believe they're made out of some kind of a I don't like I think it's acrylic some kind of a plastic I have no idea what they are but they fit foam blanks perfectly well as you can see so these are you know would aid you whenever you're, you're doing your dart smithing with you know, no problems I'll put these aside he gave me a pair of these and he also gave me these oh, I'm gonna take out the FBR these are like self-made or homemade miter boxes with an adjustable um, uh, thingy so that you can adjust the length of you know the form that you want to cut and I thought that was pretty cool and it was a very very uh, very very uh, kind gesture a very generous gesture on his part and I just want to show you share it with you guys now this one is actually called um, I guess it's called P06 and this one is called P05 and I have a feeling that P stands for prototype I might be wrong though so correct me if I'm wrong bro but anyway 06 is made out of a uh, aluminum bracket as you can see uh, the downside is that if you were to bend it this way you might damage this part over here because it's just a thin piece of aluminium uh, however it is pretty damn smooth and uh, it holds FBR this way this way in like that so that's what you're supposed to do so um, I'm gonna use the other one the plastic one I believe that this is some kind of a bracket that is used for maybe wire trunking uh, I might be wrong it's just a, it's just a guess well, let me grab a screwdriver Okay, so uh, basically you can tighten this uh, movable slot with a Phillips head screwdriver. So you just have to loosen the screw and uh, you can see that the nut is already epoxied in or uh, super glued in and then you can make it adjustable. So you adjust it to the length of the foam that you want. Like for example, uh, I'm going to be maybe about, I'll just going to cut off just about this much, okay, for for the camera so in order to maintain consistency or you know the same length for all the darts you're gonna cut just tighten it in place with the Phillips head screwdriver and you are done there and then what you do is you just grab a knife like so and you're gonna line it up with the two slots over here which are cut out very nicely by the way uh, I believe that you actually use some machinery to do it and then you just uh, 
belt. Oops, gotta hold that in place and just make the cut. Okay, here we go. Oops. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not cutting it right. Okay, here we go. Uh this is called performance anxiety on camera. So there, done. And then this is the foam uh blank for the dart that is to be fed with uh a tip. So as you can see it's straight, it's very very straight, it's straighter than my so called ghetto uh this thing. My my ghetto style um Mitre box, so I guess this can just go to trash now. I, I like this one a lot. Thank you so much, Backspacer. This was uh, really kind of you, and um, yo, I definitely benefit out of this. Um, it's gonna make darts making a kinch for me. So, if you guys are actually interested, I think he has a write up or a build somewhere. I have no idea, but check out the Nerf SG forums and you can hit him up over there. So, once again, his name is Backspacer05. Alright, uh, moving on, and now we come to the part of the video that all of you guys have been waiting for it's the Elite. Alpha Trooper. I'm just gonna call it EAT for short, or the EAT. I'll call it the EAT for short, <laughs> not like Retail Alpha Trooper, Retail Alpha Trooper, Retail Alpha Trooper for later, Retail Alpha Trooper, Retail Alpha Trooper, Retail Alpha Trooper, Retail Trooper for ta later ba fa ta ver. Alpha Retaliator Trooper, Alpha Retaliator Trooper. Enough EAT. I'm gonna call it the EAT just for short. So um, just to prove to you guys that. I don't even know whether you can see it from this angle. Let me go check the camera. I hope that you can see the elite plunger on the inside. Can you? Can you? Yes, you can. See, that's the elite plunger right there. Oh. Oh, so how did you do it? Like, how did you do it? So you can check out this video here. Alright, so here we go again. This is the elite alpha trooper. Or the alpha trooper with the elite internals. And here is a walkthrough or a talk through of all the mods that I've done. This, uh, it's, it's close or similar to the one that I did for the long strike but this one requires a lot more work so let's get started I shall first remove the uh, jam door alright now have you noticed that there's this little tube over here this is just some PETG alright so this is how the internals should look alright I'm gonna start from of course the breach area this dark door area is the original Alpha Trooper dart door. Now I'm gonna have some problems uh, removing this one so please bear with me as I try to ease it out. Take out the spring first. This spacer piece I'll get to in a short while. And we have the catch and you can see it's a modified catch. And um, Okay so I'm just gonna try and leave it in this position. Right so uh, now that I've taken it out the things that you actually need to perform this mod are of course uh, the retaliator internals. Actually uh, I'll be honest with you the internals that I'm using here are from the Rampage but you can use the Retaliator ones okay you just have to adjust the mod a little bit then you'll need of course your stock Alpha Trooper stuff and you'll need to use uh, some super glue it is a must for this mod you need some pipe cutters or the rotary kind not the ratcheting or the parrots you'll need hot glue if you want if not super glue should suffice but you actually need to find a way to you know put this particular spacer thing over here then um, you need a Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, you will need some sandpaper and it'll be a lot of sanding. So yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna bring a focus over to the bolt or the breech. Oops, oh never mind, that's just the bottom piece that dropped out. So anyway, okay, this is the breech. Now the whole of this first half, as you can see, is extended piece. This all belongs to the stock Alpha Trooper. And then over here I made a cut and from here on up all the way here is the rampage or retaliator breach so um, from this lip over here the lip where the dart actually goes in this point to the end of this breach it should be about four inches or slightly longer than four inches make it about four and a quarter inch all right so uh, that's just to play safe now the problem with it is that there is an air leak hole originally on the alpha trooper don't know if you guys can see it but I already covered it up with some goop and you can use hot glue if you want or you can use e-tape now the problem is the stock alpha trooper breach is very wide it's too wide to actually go inside let me show you this is what's left of my uh, alpha trooper plunger tube right this is the plunger tube itself and this is the breach area now this is where I cut it off from 
uh, air restrictors are still in place. Now, this cannot fit inside. As you can see, I'm struggling. It's too, it's too tight, right? And you, you cannot afford to have that. If not, you will actually damage the internals um, of the plunger tube over time, and you don't want that. You need it to be smooth and just nice so that it can uh, be 100% as you with the stock uh, o-ring on the rampage or retaliator breach I hope you understood all of that so what you have to do is you have to get your Dremel and you have to sand it down uh, or grind it down or use sandpaper and um, wrap it around and then go uh, you know let's just it like a few million times so until you get like at least a rather uniform breach uh, OD outer diameter as the one on the retaliator uh, or rampage so that is where most of the work went to please take note alright then you have to use back of course the original Alpha Trooper bolt sled and uh, because of this mod because of the way um, I guess the length of the plunger tube of the uh, elite blaster you have to remove the locks so I removed uh, the bolt locks on the inside I've also removed the clip lock so please take note of that now this thing over here is a PTG uh, just a stub of it put in place with hot glue what this does is it supports the plunger tube and uh, help, helps to keep it straight help the word is help it doesn't keep, keep it straight but at least it does help a little bit right next uh, you can see over here a whole bunch of stuff inside this this slot okay so uh, these are all just cut up pieces of the um, clip lock that I actually took out and this is the air restrictor um, residue the air restrictor pack I'm sorry the air restrictor pack just enough for me to slot this nub from the retaliator uh, sorry from the rampage plunger tube inside alright now the thing is I had to actually cut off it's actually a very how do I say it was originally a very pronounced T shape so I cut off the other two uh, arms to make it a straight line and so it could sit inside this particular slot that I left so you have to make sure you calculate it it's around the uh, second rib so for you guys who are actually using the retaliator plunger tube you have to make the correct adjustments now the thing is just like in the long strike there is no room for the plunger tube to move up and down so please take note of that okay you want it to sit and not move not like how a stock elite blaster uh, you know functions next up you have to worry about the catch and the catch area now it's already been covered up but let me just get the other half to show you guys this is a better illustration now you can see I put an orange tube uh, orange piece over here so on the inside also is the same orange piece now this was fashioned out of also the clip lock let's cut the clip lock and uh, put some of it inside there uh, as a spacer now I'll get my screwdriver so I can point this out to you this orange piece must not be any higher than this this wall this back wall over here the one that this one yeah the one that my screwdriver is touching this back wall over here it must not be taller it has to be flush or slightly lower than this wall over here okay it's very very important if not yeah this mod probably would not work now next thing you're gonna have to cut up the originals uh, the stock alpha trooper um, catch plate so this is what's left of the catch plate the whole bottom is all gone and I have stuck it on the bottom of the retaliate uh, sorry the rampage uh, catch plate you can do so for the retaliators catch plate too same thing no difference so then after that this goes right here and that is how everything should sit for now this is a spacer that I made to help to guide the uh, spring the spring goes in too so it's just a spacer that I made to help to guide the spring and the uh, plunger head now what's important is just to let you know I already put uh, the whatchamacallit tube with a lot of e-tape on the inside now the way this thing works actually is because of the way this whole thing is wobbling up and down you know uh, because of you know the the whole slam fire mechanism when you prime it back like that okay now you can see it catches on however if there's nothing to support the back and it drops down it can slide underneath 
your catch plate and it will just trip so you have to take note of that something has to be able to prop this thing up so for you guys who are using your uh, half inch PVC tube make sure that there's enough space here to try to support this thing or maybe on the back so please take note of that okay now next part is the slam fire mechanism now this works slam fire mode if you guys don't want the slam fire function make sure that you find a way to hook up the trigger with the uh, catch itself and you can successfully or you can after that cut off the bolt slab from here onwards so you don't need this whole arm part all right and then you can put a space over here to try and uh, keep the plunger tube in place and not droop up and down now the problem is because I wanted to keep the slam fire function inside I have to have this bar at the bottom over here sorry my fingers are too fat with this bar over here at the bottom running up and down and um, that's why I have to keep this area free right so there we go these are the internal mods for the elite alpha trooper so um, I once again I apologize that I don't have a good um, step by step mod process of the whole mod the problem is because I actually face a lot of uh, trial and errors a lot of uh, you know mistakes that I had to rectify and a lot of figuring out why this wouldn't work why that wouldn't work and therefore I realized that okay I think I'm just gonna try and make this thing work before I actually try and teach you guys so here we go that's the elite alpha trooper thanks for watching guys see you in the next part welcome back I hope that video actually helped you out yes it was the same walk through talk through as the one I did for the long strike now if you can tell already it's a lot more work than trying to convert a long strike and fit in uh, uh, retaliators internals into the long strike this one I used over here is like I mentioned the internals of a rampage but I do believe that it would work better on a retaliator that's my personal opinion because a retaliators plunger tube has two prongs on each side which would sit nicely in the grooves of this particular shell but whereas uh, in the case of the Rampage Rampage actually has this little sleeve I think like a I guess you could call it a sleeve like a clip something to hold the the plunger tube in place and then it only has a ridge on one side and so it makes it very unstable now the thing I would have to mention to you guys is that because of the way this thing is made now you cannot just simply uh, jam in your clip or remove it even though you have your clip lock removed you still have to remove it the traditional way which is to prime your blaster all the way back first into its prime position before you can uh, insert or remove a clip and that is one downside I think uh, that might turn some of you off uh, however this mod is just for fun it definitely is you know um, an upgrade for the Alpha Trooper and I'm liking this blaster even more now of course it's no longer stock the Alpha Trooper was one of the best performing stock blasters of the end strike line uh, in my opinion so anyway uh, I'm gonna quit the babbling and I'm going to give you guys a firing demo now inside this 25 drum clip drum mag sorry inside this 25 dart drum mag I have loaded 10 darts uh, if you guys want to count you can go ahead and count 10 darts so I'll be firing the first four as a single shot just to show you the power or the the performance yes that's the word performance and then I'll be firing off the final six darts uh, with the slam fire mode and um, then I will try my best to I guess release the spring or ease the spring in a way I don't know we'll see how that goes but anyway so yeah uh, try not to do this don't do it you, you might I mean even if you manage to get the clip in you might just destroy the breach that you painstakingly made all right so please take note of that okay so all the way back get your clip load it up and right so here we go single shot first one so all four out as you can see the performance is pretty good and the reason why the performance is so good is because I'm using orange mod works 5 kg spring on the inside so go check out orange mod works if you guys want to buy a 5 kg upgrade spring but if you want something even more powerful look up SG Nerf he has 8 kg springs for sale so now it's time for slam fire mode uh, I realize that always in my uh, videos you guys can't really tell that it's in slam fire because I'm always firing off with my left hand uh, I feel uncomfortable using my right hand so I don't think I'll be able to do it can I? I don't know I don't think I'll be able to do it comfortably so I will just try and find a way to oh I have an idea 
Maybe I'll just shoot upwards this way. Okay, so you guys, I hope you guys can see it. I'll be here. Oh, I'm rolling over my wire now. Okay, so I'll just squeeze the trigger like that. And uh, here we go. Stand fire mode, okay? I'll try, I'll try my best not to block. Am I blocking the trigger? Yes, I am. Am I not? Okay, let's do it this way. Ready? Here we go. So it works, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, all the darts flew back and they're all in the same corner. So, yeah. This was the Elite Alpha Trooper. I hope that you guys could benefit out of the mod walkthrough or talk through the way that I did for the long strike, the Elite Long Strike. Now, uh, personal opinion, I prefer the Elite Alpha Trooper because of the way it's handled. But um, in terms of usability, especially when it comes to this particular part of trying to change the clip, then I guess uh, the Long Strike. But I still love the Alpha Trooper. So now, how do I actually uh, ease the spring? I don't give a shit. I'll just dry fire it. <laughs> okay, don't 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 take my word for this. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and dry fire your Alpha Trooper or your Elite Alpha Trooper all the time, and if it breaks, it's not my problem. Don't make it mine. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my previous video, which was my 100th video. Once again, big thanks to Atani and Hat for coming down all the way to the Void Deck, my Void Deck, and uh, just having fun doing stupid stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just I just want to mention to you guys that although the silicon tips hurt when they, when they hit you, the good thing is that they don't, I guess they don't cause welts or they don't break your skin the way that other Stefan types might. I'll probably do a, I guess a firing comparison of the you know that particular silicon tip dart and the other dart types in another video uh, but stay tuned for that uh, don't take my word for it yet until I actually have it on footage or on, on camera yeah so it's a hundred videos a long time coming and uh, my next episode of porn is going to be porn episode 20 so um, what I would like to do is I'm gonna set up this Q and A. It's yes, it's another Q and A, another question and answer segment. And I hope that you guys take some time to check out this video, which was my previous Q and A. I hope that you guys won't uh, ask me the same questions as before. But the reason why I want to do this second Q and A is because since the first Q and A till now, I've gotten about another, I would say about six to eight hundred more subscribers, which is quite amazing. I didn't even realize it till like till I was thinking back about it. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments in this particular video and I will use these questions for the Q&A to be in the next video episode 20 which should be coming out in about a week's time so um, I welcome all sorts of questions especially questions that have nothing to do with Nerf that's fine as long as as long as your question is intelligent and it's like I guess it's non-political you know I don't wish to get into any kind of uh, legal problems stuff like that Right. Uh, I of course I would like to make a disclaimer that I can get to choose and decide whether or not I want to answer your question. Of course I will do my best and I'll try to answer everybody's question. But that's, I guess we'll just see how that goes. All right. So, um, yeah. Once again, thanks for watching Pwn episode 19. This was the Elite Alpha Trooper. Um, big ups to Devolution and Leo Zeus again for doing up the prance or the prance war, and um, thanks to Backspacer again for the great help in all the dart smithing tools and um, yeah some up and coming developments for the nerf community here in Singapore that I will be announcing to you guys pretty soon alright so catch you soon take care have a great week peace